This video will be different than usual. Situation in the world is not great. Best thing we can do now is to stay at home. While staying at home, you can spend your time doing nothing, scrolling Facebook page. But since you are watching my video, I believe that you are not that kind of person. Use that free time to learn, to explore. Now you can do so many things. Learn to cook. Learn, program, help others. There is many things to do. And I will do what I love the most. Playing with electronics. But in this video I will not use Arduino or other development boards like usual. Last couple of days I played with these microcontrollers. 80 tiny series. You probably heard about this guy 80 tiny 85. Four years ago I got my first Arduino, this one, and a couple months later I buy a bunch of these and I use them in many projects. They can be easily programmed with Arduino IDE and they don't need external components to work. If we look at 8 Mega328 microcontroller which is used on Arduino Uno or Nano, it needs crystal, two capacitors for crystal, pull-up resistor, decoupling capacitors, power and ground to multiple pins and more. This guy needs only power wires, VCC and ground. Because that 80Tiny85 is a microcontroller that I used in my first custom PCB with microcontroller. I created this clock and 80Tiny85 in this surface mount package was enough for this project. Real-time chip and OLED display share I2C pins and remaining three pins are used for push buttons. If you don't know where to order your custom PCBs, I recommend PCB Way service. Their products are great quality and prices are great. You will get first order for free you will need to pay only shipping. They are also very nice to their customers. Recently they sent me $5 bonus as apology because delay in order caused by corona crisis. Now situation in China is much better and they are fully operational. Ok, let's start. But before we start I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying hard to make quality contact for all makers. Feel free to check my channel later, but now let's explore 80 tiny series. This microcontroller 80 tiny 85 is most known chip in 80 tiny series. It have only 5 usable input slash output pins, so if uh, this is enough for you you can save place and create low cost and power efficient projects. If you need more pins, there is also compact and small 80 tiny 84 with 12 usable pins. In this uh, example, 80 tiny 84 is driving these 10 LEDs in this bar graph or this seven segment display. There was a still a free pin, so I added this potentiometer to analog pin, and now I can adjust speed. One of my early projects was this 7 segment counter. 80 tiny 85 don't have enough pins for 7 segment, so shift register is used. In that time I didn't know that 80 tiny 84 exists. If you need even more pins you can use 80 tiny 2313. It have 18 usable pins, but keep in mind that this microcontrol don't have analog pins. And if you need only 3 pins you can use this guy, 80 tiny 10 But it is hard to use because size and low, and low storage capacity. For program uh, this you will need to set up Arduino IDE and you will need Arduino board. I'm using this Arduino Uno. There is many tutorials how to program this chip and many of them are are outdated. 
I will uh, post uh, working links in the description on this video. So, so just follow instructions and you will make it run. Simple sketches for LED blinking are same as Arduino sketches. Keep in mind that for some modules you will need special libraries which are made for ATtiny, like for this OLED display for example. I hope that you learned something and hope I gave you idea for some cool projects. Stay safe, stay home, learn, play and of course subscribe to my channel for more electronics projects. Thank you.